Hello, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and I am in the middle of nowhere. There's no one around me, because I don't want to be around people when I break wind. I made a video on this breaking wind not too long ago. I tested quite a few different types of ammo inside of it, but there were a few things that I didn't get to try, and I didn't get to try any of them outside. And that's what I'm going to do today. So I've set up a few different ranges. I've got 25 feet, 50 feet, 70 feet, and 100 feet. It's probably gonna go beyond that 100 feet with a couple of these shots, but I wanna see how this thing spreads with the shotgun rounds per se. So I've loaded up quite a few different types of ammo. I've got some Boomco, Rival, Half Darts, Ultra, single shots, and then I, of course, managed to find some Megas and, of course, Rockets, because guess what? rockets fit on this barrel. And so without keeping you guys waiting too long, why don't we just show that one off first? Because I'm curious as well. Now, I got three regular Nerf rockets and then three Busby ones. We'll see if the Busby ones survive. And I've got a few different types of viewpoints here. So I've got camera, I've got GoPro, and then at the very, not the very end, excuse me, the 75 foot range, I do have another camera so I can see how far it goes past that if possible. I am going to be aiming at that 75 foot range, so it's about at my height down there. It's the foam blast hat on a tripod. Let's do some rockets. All right, that was at about 50 feet. A little less, more like 45, 40 and right in between. Now let's try some Busbees. Oh man, I forgot how much lower quality they are. Oh, but they flew, about the same. All right, a little less. Okay. So looking at these really quick, Clearly the Busby ones were not so great. They're right in between the 25 and 50, so 30, 35. And then the Nerf ones really coming in at around 40, 45 maybe, just shy of that 50 foot mark. Of course, I bring back the rockets and this Busby one immediately just uh, shatters the glue as soon as I put it in a pocket. Thanks Busby, if only I could make them a little bit better. But I would be lying to you if I said those were the actual ranges because we know how to dart punch. And when it comes to rockets, we know how to rocket punch. So how about we do a little bit of that? I've got still three genuine Nerf ones and we are gonna send these things to the heavens. All right, that was a little bit lower angle. Actually, not too far off from where I'm aiming, so that's nice. And let's give this one a nice push. Oh! <laughs> that one's almost at the 100 foot range. Nice. Okay, let's try these last two Busbies then. Can we get some good performance with dart punching? Rocket punching. Oh, they just don't spin. <laughs> oh dear. Interesting. It would appear that the Busby ones go about 50 feet when you give them a nice angle and a nice push, so good job there. But of course, when you give some standard Nerf missiles, the genuine good old fashioned Nerf ones, you can get between 50 and 75. Oh, okay, it wasn't that far, but still a good 80 feet, at least from this guy. I'm sure I could get this to go 100 if I try. So, yes. Breaking wind fires rockets and it fires them really well. While I have the sniper barrel in, let's try some nice half darts. So these are gonna be some bamboo shots and then I will change to the pro darts, the black ones. Uh, I don't know where that went. Okay, I'm just grabbing at random. Here's a pro dart. Good grief. Yeah, these are clearing a hundred. There's another pro dart. Pro dart. Oh, prime it first. You want to prime it first so you don't vacuum load. Oh, 
Yeah, these are going easy, 75 foot. You could hit someone who's standing at 75 feet, no problem, before it drops. Here's our first pro dart, just at the camera, so that's at 75. These ones coming in between the next two, so that's 80 to 85. Two pro darts, excuse me, bamboo darts. Another bamboo right here, just in front of the 100. And here are, wait a minute, I just found another bamboo dart. This must be the one I fired earlier, okay. So I can definitely clear the 100 foot mark with these darts if I put any sort of angle to them, but that was pretty much aiming flat at a target at 75 feet. Now the question is, where is that last Adventure Force Pro Dart? Oh, there it is. So, 95 feet. Now let's get to an ammo type that I missed in my original video. These are the Mega Shells. I have four of them here. Currently, these are using cut-down Megas that fit inside of the shell. As you can see, it's just barely poking out there. I use these for my Spring Thunder, but obviously the breaking one doesn't need to use them. So I'm going to test them out of this shell, and then I'm going to test full length. They're not genuine Megas. They're you know, the knockoff AccuStrike style heads. But frankly, I'm not going to be using regular Megas out of this because why would you ever use something that's completely inaccurate? Well, so that didn't stand too well. Looks like we're getting almost about 50 feet. All right, and let's load up them with the other full-length Mega AccuStrix. So they look kind of funny coming out like that, but again, they work just fine. Definitely a bit of a tighter load compared to the other ones, so I'm curious if that means they'll have a better seal, whereas those other Megas may have been in there for a bit of time. It's been a minute. But they're going a similar range. They're clearing the 50. And we're done. So just below the 50 mark, we've got a cut down, then a cut down just past the 50, full length, cut down, two cut downs here right in between. Oh, excuse me, that's a cut down and a full length. And then full length and full length just below the 75, so about 70 feet. All right, now I've loaded up all of my rival buckshot rounds. So I've got eight of these and let's get some spread down range. Moving to the top. And last one. All right, so it looks like, for the most part, I would see the first ball go the farthest and then you know, sequentially fall back a little bit. The first one almost always seemed to go right past this 50 mark, and then the last one would bounce a little bit past. But you can see it's it's all over the place. There's no way to make a scientific oh, representation of what has happened here. But, you know, if we take away a little bit of the bounce, 50 feet is right there, so that's a nice benchmark. It's definitely doing up to 50 feet, at least with the first two. For curiosity's sake, I have loaded one rival round into a couple of these shells. Just curious to see how far it's gonna go. All right, that cleared 50, as expected. Again, like right at the 50 mark. That was just shy, maybe 40, 45. Similar story, 40, 45. If I find all the rival rounds at the end of the day, I'm gonna call that a win. It's that time of the day again. Time for some Ultra rounds. These are just standard Ultra, no Sonic Screamers. Let's see how far these go. I'm very curious. Holy smokes. 
That was so sporadic, but it was amazing. And that one was really straight. Looks like they're falling between 50 and the camera. So a good 60 foot shot. They're not bouncing too much, so hopefully we can find them, get an accurate reading. That one was beyond 75. Last one. That was like right in front of the tripod. All right, let's go see them. Here's my first ultra, just beyond the 50. So like 55 to 60 feet. Next one bounced away from the tripod, but probably about 70 feet. Next one here. So that's what, 80, 85, probably 80. This one, same story. Where's the last one? Oh, there it is, it's back here. All right, false alarm, 85, 90. All right, but that's, oh, excuse me. I know what I'm doing. More like 70, 60, 65 feet. But that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Spring Thunder obviously puts them further downrange, but we are talking about a significantly smaller blaster. Now I'm gonna try some single darts. These are Adventure Force waffles. I've got one in there right now, five total. Let's see if these can go mm, 70 feet. Eh, close. Might be getting just shy of that without putting too much of an angle on it. Hmm. Interesting. These shells are significantly tighter than my other ones. Phrasing. Very weird. But they're still getting decent performance. Last one. Eh, all right. I'm curious how much the shell affected that, but here's the 50 foot marker. So the worst dart was just over 50. These three are in between. So that's like 55 to 65. And the last one, dot, dot, there. Wow, I am so blind. Same range. So didn't hit 75, didn't hit 70, but still okay. Now for what you really care about, Single shells with elite darts in them. This should be interesting. I wonder how sporadic this will be. Yeah, sporadic. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what the? Elite darts, am I right? Funny enough, about the same. Here's one just beyond 50 feet. Here's one close to 55, between 55 and 60. <laughs> and then these ones, I guess here's where Elite has its distinct advantages right at the 75 foot marker. Distinctly off target, as elites are known for. The best part of elites, but I guess they work. So what I did drop the ball on today is Boomco. I've got five Boomco straws total. I have more than that, but I only have five today. So I can load up a three shot and then two single shots, which means we might have to repeat this process a couple of times. Ew. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, I'm so sad I didn't bring more Boomco straws. They like grouped together and then at the last second they all split apart like a warhead. All right, it should be pretty obvious which ones are the single shots and which one, which three were part of the triple. Or not, let's find out. Here's the first grouping. So this is just shy of 50 feet. There's one, there's two, there's three. At least they're vibrant and easy to find. Here's one just beyond the 75, and here's the last one, right in between the 75 and 100. Wow, that's a single Boomco straw. Let's do that again. All right, same thing. The triple is the first, and then two singles. All right, that was a big spread right off the bat. Looked like they hit the 50. Some bounced backwards, some bounced forwards. Lost a little bit of accuracy, but that one is probably right in between the 75 100. Oh, and that one dove a little bit first. 
first, second, dot, dot, dot. I'll find the other one later. I know that was right at the 50. Here's one right between the 50 and the 75. There you are. And here's one at the 75. There you are. And this one is also right at the 50. So Boomco is no joke. Even the triple shot was getting just about at the 50. A nice grouping. Yeah, I think this is gonna be really fun with more of those Boomco triple shots. All right, last one, which I am expecting the least amount of performance from, but these are my double shells, although they're double doubles. So these are four half length darts loaded. And then these ones in particular are two half lengths loaded. So let's see just how far those actually are going to go and what kind of spread they get. Oh, wow. It hits you if you're anywhere between 25 and 40. Oh, and that one was really different. That one actually spread out like four different paths. The first one was like carpet bombing from above. Very interesting. And let's see what the last one does. Okay, that was another spread again, but that one dropped a lot sooner. Those were all worker gen threes. Now let's try two shots only from them. And these ones I think are worker gen twos. So hopefully they stay together. Worker gen twos of yellow and white. Interesting, those almost stayed together like one unit and then the other ones both left separately. So what I saw, because again, these darts bounced so it's not 100% accurate, the twos almost made it to 50. Sometimes it looked more like 40 or 45. You've got, of course, your spread of the four shots here. But again, more than 25 feet is good when you're firing like four half darts. That is a good spread to hit people with, which means you might be able to fire them over people and get tags. And here, of course, just shy of the 50, we've got our worker gen twos in white and yellow. It looks like they actually did stay together. Here's one of the far ones from the four shots. Hooray, but man, these darts are uh, looking worse for wear. Yeah, my worst half darts, which are now fodder for scatter shot rounds. So I've tested just about everything I have for the breaking wind, and my opinion of it now is about the same as before. Maybe even more impressed. It's really satisfying to watch some of those rounds go down range and split apart, and it's also incredibly satisfying, of course, to be able to fire rockets, megas, half darts, full-length darts, rival, ultra, anything you can think of. So once again, I do recommend this blaster for shell-fed enthusiasts because it works really well, and I'm really happy to see that this sniper barrel was iterated so that you can do fun things like fire rockets, because you've got really good power for single shot darts, and then if you want to quickly throw a rocket on top, you can. So thank you everyone for watching. Let me know if this has changed your mind on the breaking wind, or if you are going to be getting one yourself, and I will see you later. 50.